Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros and today I want to show you how to do a Maya Deforme in Bifrost. So almost 10 years ago I made this uh, Blendshape node where I add some feature on the basic Maya, uh, Maya one, like uh, delay maps, uh, uh, different type of inter vertex interpolation and so, so on. So I thought it was like a nice idea to bring, um, to show you like an example how to use Bifrost to create a, a easy to form like a, bl a blend shape and add some extra feature like this one the logic has are very simple so i think it was a nice way to show you um this extra functionality um so this tutorial is a basic tutorial for Bifrost, more than advanced how to do the former and optimize the former. So uh, we are here more focused how to show you uh, how to connect uh, and what to connect and a little bit the logic and the math uh, behind it because that is the most important thing. So when you understand the logic, you can do, you can go crazy, do whatever you want. Actually, I very push you, everybody view then if you have any extra feature ideas that you want to share, please, please share with us uh, on the comment section. I will super happy to read and check and maybe we'll share with everybody. So first of all, let's check about Bifrost, open the plugin and be sure that all the plugins of Bifrost are loaded. We, uh, I'm using a version 0.2.2, so uh, it's possible that you have like a newer version and some of this connection will be different or maybe out of, out of date, but no worries, the logic will be the same. So first, for, first things, create a mesh. That, if I have the format, that is the basic things. So now that we have a, we have a mesh, uh, let's create the graphs. Like you say, uh, if you create a graphs, uh, Bifrost graphs with the geometry selected, already create a mesh plug. And if, if, if we are going to see the connection, we don't need this one. We already see uh, an, the Maya geometry connect with our Bifrost. But pay attention to one thing. Uh, this connection is coming with a word mesh. So depends what are you doing. Maybe it's, cor it's, it's correct. But most of the time, if you want to do the former, you want to have out mesh. So just change with this. So let's start from scratch anyway. Uh, first things first, let's create a graph. Now there are not anything here, so we cannot connect it. So if you would try to, um, if we are trying to get our out mesh and try to connect it, there will be nothing to connect with because we don't have any plug. So I let's create a node called value. Uh, this is the, is the way that I do to create uh, plugs, but there are probably different others, so no worries. Uh, Object type, this is what we want. So just connect it and rename it in mesh. So now we can connect our output mesh with in mesh and we have, uh, and we connect like, it is the same the connection that we, we had before. Let's move a little bit our base mesh. Let's connect our in mesh with our output. You can see now we create our output mesh. So let's rename it out mesh. Uh, just as more things, this is a Bifrost draw, so it's sort of like a locator. It's not a Maya mesh. For, for example, if you want to select the vertices, we can't. Um, so if you want to interact with the mesh in Maya, you want to have an output mesh, of course. So let's create it and let's connect with our output mesh with in mesh of a cube two. Uh, spoiler alert, we can try, but we will not succeed on this connection. So if you're going here, let's go to in mesh here. You see, we cannot connect. The reason of that is because that are uh, Bifrost data, so they are not Maya mesh. If you want to connect with any external me Maya mesh, you need to create a node called Bifrost, Bifrost Geo to Maya. Now we can connect our out mesh. and we can connect the Maya mesh, Maya mesh to our in mesh. So now these are all connect, directly connect. It's like, so we can move the same type of data from one node to the other. Amazing. We don't need this one at the moment. We are happy with the Bifrost representation. So let's delete the basic Maya. So now that we are here, if we want to do the format, the first things we, we want to do is get the, da get the point and set the point. So, you know, at the former, the end goal of the former is move points. So let's create set point position. Um, the first things you will notice that all the node and with this icon here, the symbol here is mean there are compounds and compounds are group of nodes. So if we double click, we can see how these compounds are made. These are set properties, a set property, set geo property. A set geo property is another 
compound and you can see here how they made this node um first so first things we are lazy so we love to have something already to cook for, for for us a second if you want to see how um, breakfast works that is a nice um nice things to, to check how they made all this connection and how to use it so let's connect the geometry and output mesh now our, our, our mesh disappeared because we did, we are not passing any position, so we try to set with a null value. Um, so let's get point position. So like you say, the same things before. This is a compound. So if you go inside, you can see what there is. We can connect it and we can connect here. So now we are passing the same, we are doing the same things than before. We are passing a mesh. We get all the point position we set all the point position and we come back. So we need to do something in the middle to change the position of our vertices. Uh, one thing I want to show you here, a couple of things actually. One is the different type of plug. You can see this ship here. This is a, a single data. Instead, this one is an array of data because these are our points position. Uh, re let's rename this one in base point, point position. Uh, another thing, so if you select the connection and do right click, you can add what, what watch point. And this will tell you like the type of data that is passing here. So we are passing point position, set eight, because like I say, it's an array, and this is the minimax of value. Uh, another example would be on the object data. It is a mesh object data. And you can see all the property. We can have uh, face offset, uh, point position, point normal, and so on, and so on. Let's remove it because we don't need it. Um, so what, what, we, what do we need now? So we need, first of all, we need a second mesh. This will be our target. And we want to have something in our target, right? Um, we want to have an extra input, then it will be our target. And connect our second mesh in our so now i i want to show you the example with one single mesh um but we can we'll see how to do uh, multiple target as well target and same things let's create duplicate i control c control v you can copy duplicate uh, nodes i keep this in connection uh this will be our target pp so now then we have um, our uh, base mesh and our target mesh, what we want to do. So let's see here what will be our logic. So we have, we have our point A, then is our base mesh, our point B, then is our target mesh. We want to create a vector is going from A to B called V1. So V1, it's equal by b minus a per vertices uh, the second step is, is will be turn to go to multiply this uh, vector uh, so we can this will be like um, so we're going to multiply this vector vector so we can uh, move our vector from here to there this defined by a, a b value so it will be like b multiplied by v1 our final position um, and that's it for now. Okay, so uh, let's call this one actually a PPA. And this one PPB, so it's probably more clear. Uh, so we want to do V1. So let's create a subtract node. And we are going to subtract point B to point A, and this will be our our v, v1. Uh, another cool thing about uh, by first, uh, like you see, uh, we have two arrays, two list of arrays. If we plug two list array, we don't need to do a for loop for um, go to element by element. Even so, uh, there are like a different type of uh, interpolation in um, in by first, like the iterate for each and while uh, these are the three different type of interpolation in this scenario here we don't need it we want to just go every element minus the uh, all other element and this system uh, uh, the internal node already does for us this is like a very interesting advantage that we have 
Um, so I, uh, let's connect this one, the, this one here. So this V1 is technically, well, let's call it V1, is our delta vertices, right? Well, let's call it delta. Um, delta vertices. So if we connect this one to here, you can see now we have the differences of the vertices. So uh, let's change, for example, this one here, you see? Cool. So what we need, we have this difference here, but to have like a final final position, point position, we need to have point A multiply, multiplied by V1, and actually V1 multiplied by our blend value. So let's uh, add an extra uh, node. Like if I tap tab, press tab and search for the name, I create a node, of course, uh, and you see this one already. But if I select a connection that already exists and I press tab, it automatic, the, the system by first already auto, uh, automatically connect, the, um, the create the node in between and create a connection. So we need to add our base point to our delta, and now we come back. This are, is our final mesh. So we are already in our final position in terms of uh, blend shape. Um, let's get it there. So what we need now, we need to create the B. So we need to multiply our, our V1 for a B value. So let's multiply here, and let's create a value. So type here, float. And this will be our blend attribute. So now then we have our blend attribute. We can just connect this one to our multiply. This will come back to zero because uh, I can show you at watch point. You see the value is zero. So if we select our by first node, this the blend is zero. And now we can change this float. You can see the number here changing and change the multiplication here. Um, so it's around 10, 12 minutes at the moment. So I think it's a, it's a good point to stop it. Uh, I'm going to create a second video where I'm going to show you, I start to add some extra feature, uh, some extra feature. Thank you very much for watching and let's see you in the next video.